TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 6th of March. We're looking at the Dow and this Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Up 135 at 38,721 after a very, very sharp decline yesterday. Went underneath this Chapman Wave inside track uh, propellant line, and now it's a repellent line. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. We've still got Fed, uh, Fed Chairman Powell speaking. We've got the, Q, the S&P right now. Uh, it's also come off its lows. Uh, off the low from yesterday, nice bounce is up 27, a 5106. Uh, it's held a nine period moving average support. We'll see where it closes today. We, to me, it looks like we're getting a little toppy here, but you have to watch the semiconductors. Let's see where the SMH is. SMH is right now trading at uh, 225.46. Up 480. The all time high was three days ago, 227.13. What I'm looking at here is if there is, a, if there is a pullback and it includes the SMHs, it's actually led by the semis. I think we're in for more than just a brief pullback. I think it actually be a few weeks. This is the way the chart is beginning to look after yesterday's action. And all those round numbers, I'll, I'll get into that later. QQQ trading up. 254 438.59, 446.98 was the all time high four sessions ago. Hmm, a bit of a red candle having bounced to the upside, uh, but coming back a little bit. Still, the weekly chart is in leg C. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. This is going to get get to be the test of does it take over the iShares Russell 2000? Up 92 cents at 205.69. Um, it needs 208.90 to say, hey, I'm trying to be independent here, but it hasn't got here. There's the story. Gold, uh, gold is up uh, 10 at 21.51. Look at those green candles. And now it's about to test the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart. Very good action. Looking at the dollar pulling back, the dollar is down <clears throat> 28 ticks at 103.50, uh, just under the 200 period moving average. And let's go to crude oil, and then we'll go to bonds. Crude oil is up by sharp. We have the $1.68. <clears throat> and bonds, uh, bonds are also up quite nicely, up a half a point. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Basil Chaffin signing off for the moment. Coming right back in a few minutes' time for my show at 10 o'clock.